Hi there, this is Northern Access Satellite Communications, and today we're coming from you from Big Bear, California. As you can see, we are way out in the middle of the wilderness, and uh, uh, got a view of the frozen lake. We got nothing but snow all around us, and uh, it's truly a beautiful uh, place to be if you've never been here. Gorgeous. Anyway, so what we're going to do today is going to show you how to do a firmware upgrade on a 9505A, which also is pretty much kind of, uh, it's one of the f first model uh, phones that came out. The first thing that you're going to want to do is go to our website, and from there, you're going to go to support, click on satellite phone support, if you can see that, and f go ahead and click on that. And then once it takes you to satellite phone support, you'll see there that it's, uh, you'll click on 9505A satellite phone. And it'll show you 9500, 9505, and 9505A. As of right now, we don't have the, uh, it's called the prolific USB to serial port driver. Now that works for the 9500, 9505, and 9505A that show all right here. We're going to be adding that as of today, so those that want to do firmware upgrades to the newest 9002 firmware, that's what you're going to want to do is download it right from our website. Uh, first of all, to check your phone to see if you have uh, an old firmware, there's a, actually a quick command that you can do that's pretty cool. You do star pound 91 pound and it shows you there we have already done the upgrade on it to make this a little bit quicker ISO 9002 so we've already upgraded it but let us show you kind of how to get to the part where you're going to want to uh, so basically install everything so once you actually download the firmware or the the prolific USB to serial port driver which is also called the PL23 O3. It works for Windows 7 mostly, but they do have one for Windows 8, uh, and we're going to have the one that's supposed to cover both. If you have problems with Windows 8, there are uh, some related problems for Windows 8 and 10. Uh, if we find, we have found some workarounds uh, for certain problems, and we'll label those uh, on our site next time. But for now, we're going to go ahead and go forward. Uh, so basically, uh, let's pretend we've already installed the driver, and once you install the driver, you're going to want to go to the device manager, and to make sure that you have it, as you can see here, you all it'll automatically should be open. If it's not, you open ports right here, and it shows right there, prolific USB to serial COM port. And it already tells you that you're going to want to open it up on COM3. So we're good to go on that. And that device manager, by the way, is accessible in the control panel. Let me show you how to get there. Uh, go ahead and go to the control panel. And you can see right there in the control panel. Let me zoom in a little bit so you can see it. See the device manager right there? Basically, you'll click on that, and then boom, it opens up, and you see ports there. It didn't open up. Now you see it. So that's how you check out to make sure you've installed everything correctly. Once you've got that down, then basically you can go ahead and uh, most of the time people uh, like to just install it on uh, directly on their desktop, or uh, if you've got a Dropbox, you can install it in there or uh, try to make it somewhere where it's visible basically you know not hidden somewhere where you're not going to be able to see it now there are two forms uh, or three forms of the actual new driver of the ISO 9002 the one that we're going to use says HS only that means handset only there in the middle you pop that open and then to actually, uh, you'll see this screen pop open. Now to get it ready for upgrade mode, 
you go ahead and put it to COM3 because that's what it said to do, it, that it was set up on COM3. Now, for the phone to be ready for, uh, for firmware upgrade mode, this is the part you got to do kind of quick. You hit the, the pound, or I'm sorry, the power button, which is the red button right here below, and then the five button at the exact same time and it should show, show just a green screen. It's, I think it's uh, on there. It's hard to, hard, yep, it's on. It's hard to tell during the day. So you go ahead and hit check connection real quick. Now it shows phone ready, and you hit OK. And then now you hit upgrade, and then it'll start upgrading immediately. We're not gonna hit upgrade because we've already upgraded the unit. But if you're not upgraded, let's say you're on the 6002 or 5004, then it'll automatically upgrade to the 9002. Uh, also, too, the 9002, if you have certain things like uh, what's called as uh, fluctuating signals, certain uh, things, um, I would definitely try this firmware upgrade first before, uh, let's say, calling us for doing anything uh, repair related. And uh, just to let you know, uh, Northern Access is an Iridium authorized repair center. Uh, and if you have any questions whatsoever about this, feel free to call us at 877-299-9931. And you can hit the extension for repairs or just uh, wait for anybody to pick up. And we'll be glad to help you out. Uh, that's what we're here for. On the home page, you can uh, download the RMA form. Call us for an RMA if you are going to be sending in anything, uh, let's say, uh, for repair. Other than that, uh, this is Northern Access from Big Bear, California. And uh, we are signing off. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.